that I did intentionally, and whatever questions you guys have, I'll be happy to answer. So quickly, at the very beginning, I tell my story, and I'm super, super um, disciplined about doing that, because the reason I tell my story, and if you're sitting here thinking you don't have a story, you do. You don't have my story, but you have your own story, right? Tell your story, be relatable, and that's what it does. What I'm doing is I'm creating that buying environment. I saw you ladies in the room physically relax your body language when I told my story. You all go, hmm. You all shook your head when I said I got laid off from my job, or I had a lot of debt, or, and you were all going, hmm. You were relating to me immediately. And what you're doing at your party is you're creating a buying environment. Because people want to buy, they just don't want to be sold. So if you can relate to them and have you, them relate to you and make them feel comfortable, they're gonna wanna buy from you. But you don't wanna buy from anybody you don't like, right? So I was very intentional with that. I played the recruiting game. And if you notice, I turned the recruiting game into a connection game because I learned all of their names and I repeated them during the parties. Because everybody loves to hear their own name, right? It's the sweetest sound. So I turn that into a connection game. So then when they come in the shopping room, I'm like, oh, hey, Valerie. As she's walking in, I'm not flipping through cards going, oh, okay, and what was your name? I know this Valerie. She's coming in. And that's Anna and Rhea and Jordan. I know them all. And I'll do that before the party. I didn't do it because it's small, but I'll usually go, like, if I didn't get everybody's name, if they didn't ask questions, I'll be like, okay, so I didn't get your name. Oh, okay, and all right, oh, okay, Jordan. And I go through Valerie, Anna, and what was your name? I didn't, because if I didn't get it, and I go in a room and literally name everyone, and they go, oh, oh my gosh, you, you're, you just remember all our names. They're blown away. Is anybody not going to remember our names? Okay. Change that and tell yourself that you're flipping fantastic at remembering names. Because I used to tell myself all the time, gosh, I'm just, I really suck at remembering names. I'm terrible at it. Well, guess what I was terrible at? Remembering names. But now I'm like, I am freaking awesome at remembering names. And I am, right? You, you, gotta, you gotta tell yourself that, right? So um, if you hear me, uh, when I talk at my parties, I said most women a lot. I'm really big on saying most women, most women, most women, because we all wanna be like most women. So most women buy the hearts too, it is fine. Most women get the heart and the serenity together. Um, I'm trying to think, what are some other things? Um, of what I said. Put it on your wish Most list. women get two and three and four different kinds of lubricants from me. Right? I said all these things. So I want to be like most women. Yes, I kept repeating. Put it on your wish list. Put it on your wish list. I say that all throughout the party. Because don't forget, they just start having so much fun. <coughs> um, I'm big on giving them permission when it comes to the dual actions. And showing them, you know, uh, that you need to make it on how it feels, not how much it costs. Um, I like, okay, so this is big. I like to hit people's objections before they have the chance to object. So what I mean by that is I'm very careful in my verbiage because when I talk about, oh, I talk about, oh, if you're on an antidepressant, anti-anxiety. Now, someone's in the room who goes, oh, well, I'm not an antidepressant. Well, I don't need that. Well, we all know sitting here, it doesn't, you don't have to be on an antidepressant or anti because it's flipping phenomenal, right? So I was very intentional to say, I sell a ton of this. Even if you're on no medication, I sell it to women all the time. And then you go, oh, okay, right? So I'm very intentional. Same with like um, the jelly tool belt when I talk about, um, the, one of the things they're going to say is, oh my gosh, is it too tight on you? So before they're going to just say that, I go, well, that's not check. They like it tight. I don't even think I said this to you ladies. I don't think I, I think I skipped over it. But you, you can tell me if I did it. If, I, if I've already said this, stop me. But usually I'll say, you know, this is great because the whole point of a C-ring, I don't think I said this, the whole point of a C-ring is to put, uh, constrict the blood flow and help keep it harder longer. Now some of you might be singing hallelujah because you got the microwave crock crockpot thing going on. Some of you might be going, oh lord, I don't even want to open it there and it does. <laughs> Right? Even if you're that couple, this is still a great tour for you. Because oftentimes, even though we can go and go and go all night long, you're still not being stimulated where you need to be and for as long as you need to be. So do you see what I just did right there? I took the excuse from the girl that's like, oh, well, I don't need him going any longer than he does. Where she goes, huh, he can last long, but I still ain't having an orgasm. <laughs> right? So do you see what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to exclude anyone and make them feel like they can't or shouldn't get a product just because I say you can use it for this or that. Make sense? Um, any questions? I feel like I'm leaving something out, but any questions? Yeah. Um, <coughs> if skate, is it hot to sleep? Yes. Well, okay. Our old one was. Uh, I don't know. I can call somebody. Do you guys know? I mean, I don't think we've come out as, as a stance with that. I don't know. Escape. Can you repeat the question? Is escape hot tub safe? Yes. 
Yes. Thank you. Yes. Um, I, as a home charge, they don't get involved at all. At all. I mean, in the stage charge, for a long time. I don't charge mine at the party, I tell you that. I don't know that exact answer, but it does not take that long, and they start, they probably charge it really well, in my opinion. What's the, you know, at the beginning you talked about how they can do the third voice. What's a good way to phrase it when you don't have that one? That's what you said. She, yes, she said, if you don't carry inventory, what's a good way to phrase it at the beginning if you don't have a healthy inventory? So either don't say they're going to do everything that night, or you can say, ladies, um, so what do I say? Oh, you can pay and take a play today. I, um, I said, you, would say, you could say something like, ladies, um, I have a few items with me tonight, so hopefully you'll get to take home at least a few items that you want tonight, but anything else I have to you, I'll get it to you within two weeks of today's party date. So I mean, if you have a few things, you know? For sure. So you're not like, get inventory. Get inventory as soon as you can. It will boost your business and boost your sales and boost your uh, recruiting and boost your party booking all day. All of it. Truly. On your recruiting game with the cards from the date night, mm -hmm. how many do you have numbered ten. and why did you go not one through ten? You said Just like two, eight, four, two, I did two, four, six, eight, one, three, five, seven. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did evens and odds. Yeah. Um, just because I like to throw them off, so they don't think they're coming next. Okay. Like if I go one, two, three, you know what I mean? Yeah. Same with that. You just did the same about four packs, like four every time. Four every time. Yeah. Only four. Mm -hmm. Oh, four foil packs is what the question was. Do I only use four foil packs? Yes. Is there a reason why you sell the heart massager instead of the heart throb? Since you're I don't care about the heart throb personally. So, uh, you know, you can always sell what you love more. I know it's a higher price point. I just really love the heart massager. I have found it's easier for me to sell two hearts than it is for me to sell a heart drop, personally. Um, and I love it that, because um, if you notice, I told them the first person that comes in the shopping room gets the heart for free. So I don't want to boil that to everything after every party, right? And if I can get someone coming in and spending $100, they get it, right? They fight for it. They want to come in there. Because I'll have girls go, has someone gotten heart yet? Right? Now, if it's a swanky party, and I know they can afford it, I'll say 150 First person that comes in and spends over 150 They're no better guy to do it. Do we carry any silicone or hybrid-based lubricants? Do we carry any silicone or silicone lubricants? What's your question? Hybrid-based lubricants. Um, well, I don't know what hybrid-based A hybrid-based lubricant is a half silicone, half water base that can be used with toys. Okay, yes, I guess. Yes, I can answer this question. Um, Pure Pleasure is our silicone-based lubricant that is not safe with toys. Right. Um, Simply Silk is our silicone-based lubricant that is safe with toys. Okay, so that would be the hybrid, you think? There, I, I don't know right. that term, but okay. it, it is safe with yeah. toys. It is, okay. It is a silicone-based yeah, lubricant that is safe with toys. So, right. So Pure Pleasure, yeah, Pure Pleasure, like, no toys, silicone, Simply Silk. Okay. That is safe with toys. Back in the back. Uh, which dual action toys she asked did I show when I did the, the hand thing? First of all, I'm very strategic on that. I do not show anything cheaper than probably $89. Because if they can't afford it, they will go and dig in the catalog and find what they can't afford. It's like if you go buy a, used, if you go buy a car, they're not going to put the used car on the turnstile and show them. You'll go to the back of the lot and find a car that's important, right? Same as if you go into Michael Kors, they're not going to put the sale, the sale rack in the front of the store when you walk in. They're going to put it all the way in the back so you've got to go find it, right? So that's what I do with my parties too. Um, so I, sh I do Bob, I do Magic Mike, I do uh, uh, Cotton Heat, I do. Are you? No, I don't do Harley. Tom. I, that sounds a little awesome. Um, I do Tom Tide, I do, I do Party Animals, I do Tom. So you just kind of change it up and yeah. do like four or whatever at a time? Four or five. Yeah, because there's no like, demo there. I'm just bam, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't carry them. I don't, I don't, I don't actually really carry any other savings except for the jelly jelly. I just. Um, when you're using O, with, if you put it on him and her, do when it's 
inside of you vaginally, does it have that same cooling effect? It will. It will. It will. What do you use for your folders or your lap boards and what do you put in them? Uh, for my folders, I use like, um, you know those folders you can get, they're like a regular folder, but they're not paper. They're like that plastic, um, like if you, yeah, you scrape your fingers, you know? I use that <clears throat> and they have prongs in them. I put clear, um, clear insert protectors mm -hmm. and that's what I put the masterpiece collection in, that middle part. But I put um, my wish list and a cat well in the front. I guess my wish list, my catalog, and then I tear out the customer connection card and put that in the front of it. And I throw away the notes. I throw away the notes in the in the okay. wish list section. Excuse me, because I do my own wish list, and it's on my website, by the way. If you guys go on my website, it's on, under there in your day to day. But it's just a full eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. Okay. I know we're running a little over because we got all those gifts. Sorry. Um, <laughs>